Islam versus Oliveira. Mythical matchup, at least for now. But they came out with a line. Islam was the favorite. Does that surprise you? My only question, does that surprise you? And, I, and I'll answer my own question, which is a week ago, I would have said, yes, Islam's going to be the favorite. I even would have guessed it's going to be around two and a half to one. That could be a little bit of a stretch. I don't think that it would ever see three. Even if money came in, I don't think it would ever offset enough to go that far. But Islam would for sure be the favorite. And by the way, I'm not going to be overly excited for the match. I have a very good idea of what's going to happen. Now, this is just chail talk. I don't have that same opinion now. Like, Charles Oliveira looked so good, and he showed us such incredible skill that I have a very different opinion. And even if Islam did go out and win all five rounds against him, I still now want to see it. Right? Like, if someone can kick this guy's ass, that in and of itself is good enough for me as a fan. It's very different, right? Like, Charles has changed. Our opinions of Charles have changed. But it's a style of fighting that's hard to bank on. If I was to go back just recently in Charles' career, but Charles was an opinion away from never becoming champion. Michael Chandler was an opinion away from being the world champion. You'll remember the spot that I'm talking about. You'll remember when Chandler put him down. You'll remember when Chandler went to Swarm. If a referee would have chose in that instant to stop the fight, you might have complained a little bit at the time, but you'd have forgot about it by now. It would be a distant memory. He was an opinion away. That's true. Came back dramatic fashion. Oh my God, dreams are made. But fast forward a little bit. The Poirier Oliveira fight was extremely competitive. Poirier gave Oliveira big problems. You go look at the Justin Gaethje fight. Justin didn't just put him down once. He put him down twice. Oh, by the way, he did it all in the very first round. Now, those are the things that add. That, that's what legends are made of. You think I'm giving Oliveira a hard time? That's what grit and toughness and perseverance. This is how you become a legend. You go do things like that. But I'm talking about betting right now. I'm talking about something a little bit different. You have an extremely dominant fighter in Islam with a much more beautiful record and not quite the accomplishment versus the greatest accomplishment who skins his knee and stubs his toe a lot, right? I mean, it's a really interesting thing if you're going to go part with your money. I gave you guys a comparison a week ago. And the comparison was just Oliveira to Khabib. They have two common opponents in Justin Gaethje and Oliveira. Oliveira, I apologize, and Poirier. Oliveira beat Poirier 61 seconds faster than Khabib. Oliveira beat Gaethje four minutes faster than Khabib did. But if you think you're going to look at those numbers and you're going to spit out and deduce an equation that equals Charles being better than Khabib, you got to go watch the match. Sure, Khabib might have taken his time. And sure, maybe it took Khabib a little bit more time. But he was 100% in control for the duration of those matches. It might have been a more methodical approach. But it got him the exact same result, which was dominant victories, oh, by the way, finishes over the absolute number one contenders at the time. Oliveira did it a little bit quicker, but those fights were different, weren't they? The domination, in fact, that's the one thing about Khabib. It was his domination. 29 and oh, man, that's amazing. Champion of the world, wow. It was the domination. He would have fights with the absolute best guys and never be in trouble, never have it a question, never once a threat. Ric Flair. Ric Flair had a 30 for 30 done on him on ESPN. And Rick's done a number of interviews, but he talked about one of the things that he would do when he was in the territory days. He was responsible. He was the biggest draw. He saw in all the arenas, bringing in all the money, feeding all the rest of the boys. But one thing that Rick had to do because he had no equal was he would have extremely close matches and it didn't matter who it was against. It wouldn't matter if it, it, it was the big star at the time. Like, it didn't have to be Dusty Rhodes for it to be a close match. Whoever Rick went with, Rick would lose the majority of the match, overwhelmingly, like 80%. Then he would get a win at the end or he would cheat and roll the guy up and get a one, two, three. He would do these things to constantly plant in the fans' mind. Okay, that was close. He almost lost. Let me tune in tomorrow. I, I know it sounds simple. But I would make that comparison over to Charles. Like, Charles keeps getting the same result. He keeps getting his hand raised. I went back and read Charles's record. I didn't, really didn't know how, how long he's been so good. 
It's like he's won his last 12 fights, but he finished 11 of them. I think that's right. I think that's exactly what it is. But then even that dated back to like 2015 or 2016 since his last law. I mean, it's really quite impressive. We tend to remember, for whatever reason, the bad things or the things that didn't go as well. Man, that was a long time ago. That was a lot of fights ago. That was a lot of training camps ago. That was a boy, and now you've got a man. That was a, a, a contender, and now you've got a champion. It's a very different Charles Oliveira, but to act as though he doesn't fight with risk and have to pay for some of those risks at time, that's not true. Yes, he does. So what do you think? I'm just asking you what you think. Islam is the favorite. Critiques on Islam. He's never beat anybody on the top five. Well, correction to that. He's never fought anybody in the top five. It wasn't his doing. He tried to get him, but I'm just offering that for you. If you're saying Islam doesn't deserve the opportunity and you're saying you think that Islam could beat him, I, that one frustrates me. And that one happens all the time. All the time, somebody will say, well, I think this guy could beat him, but he shouldn't be given the opportunity. You shouldn't be able to hold a championship if you're not the best, truly. If you're not the best in the world, you should not have a belt that says that you're the best in the world. That's an interesting match, guys. I got to tell you, I was so light on this match. I did not want to see that match. I would have done my part. I would have come and talked to you guys about the match. And I would have given the little breakdowns and the X's and O's. And eventually I would have done an official prediction, also known as the curse. I would have done all of the steps. I really wouldn't have cared. It would have been an act. That's the match. That is absolutely the match. And I got a pretty simple question. Would I rather see Conor McGregor versus Charles Oliver, or would I rather see Islam versus Charles? Conor's the biggest draw in the sport. And that's not just a factual number that nobody could rebuke. That's in my opinion, too. If I could see anybody fight in the sport, it's Conor. I like the whole show. I like the whole thing. I will watch if Conor goes in against Oliver. I like the matchup for Conor. I get the whole thing. But if you were to ask me, which one do I truly want to see more? Which one am I truly more curious? Which one do I truly not really know the outcome? Which one's a little, eh, it could be this guy. Well, you know, if this guy, right, where you could have some fun as a fan. We love to have that debate, even internally. Well, you know, if this happens, right, that's fun. I think Islam versus Oliveira is the number one fight I want to see in the toughest division in the entire sport, which means by proxy, if I could make any fight, I can't believe I'm saying this. I would not have said this to you two weeks ago. If I could see any fight, a dream fight for me, it might be Islam versus Oliveira.